Aussies. So we're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a look at Bronsted, Lowry, Aston bases. Okay, and that sounds a little bit wacky. You know, what's all this Bronsted, Lowry business? Well, basically, all we're looking at are uh, there were two guys, one called Bronsted, one called Lowry. And, you know, they were a little bit confused as to exactly what they meant when they were talking about an ASA database, okay? And so basically, Bronsted and Lowry provided some definitions for what we call ASA databases, okay? So their definitions were an acid is a, sub is a substance that can donate a proton, okay? Can donate a proton. We know that we can write a proton as H+, okay? So a hydrogen, a hydrogen atom that loses its electron is just a proton or a H plus. We can write that as, as, a, as a hydrogen atom with a positive charge. Okay, so an, a bronsted lowry acid, that's what we call it, a bronsted lowry acid is a substance that can donate a proton. Okay, so this is basically the bronsted lowry definition of an acid. Okay, now we have three, we have a few different types. We can categorize our acids um, into sort of these, these labels. So we can call an acid monoprotic. And a monoprotic acid is one that is one that can, is one that donates one H plus, okay, just a single proton. Uh, so these are kind of subcategories, or I guess words that you can use to describe a specific a specific bronsted Lowry acid, okay. So this donates one H plus, one proton, okay. A diprotic acid donates two. H two protons. Okay, and then as you can imagine, a triprotic acid donates three. All right, so that's the bronsted lowry definition of an acid. Okay, so we, is, is, is a substance that can donate a proton. Okay, and so similarly for a base, um, the bronsted lowry definition of a base is a substance that can accept a proton. So we know that acids and bases are sort of a bit opposite. So one donates a proton and then the other accepts a proton. Okay, and as, as you can see up here, you know, I've said there's the different categories of acids. Some can donate one proton, some can donate two protons, some can donate three protons. So really, I should rewrite this as you know plural form. So it donates you know some number of protons. So an acid is a sub a bronsted lowry acid is something that donates protons, whereas a bronsted lowry base is something that accepts protons. And again, this should you know indicate that it, it can it is possible for more than one proton to be. Okay, so we've got these definitions, these bronsted lowry definitions of acids and bases. Okay, we've got another word here, the word amphiprotic, okay? Now this is another big word, sounds a bit interesting, sounds a bit weird, but it's pretty simple really. An amphiprotic substance It's basically a substance that can act as both an acid or a base, okay? It can act, it can either donate hot protons or it can accept a proton, okay? So it's a substance that can both... Donate and accept protons. Okay, an example of, a, of an amphiprotic substance is, in fact, water. Okay. So we, we know, so basically water can act as an acid or a base, you know, it is amphiprotein, it can both donate and accept protons, okay? And so if it wants to donate a proton, okay, it can sort of react. So water can donate a proton to another substance, so it donates a proton to another substance, what we're left with is we have H2O. So if it's donating a proton, okay, then we can write it as H2O becomes a proton and the hydroxide ion. So when when water acts as a uh, as a, as an acid, it produces hydroxide. 
Okay, and when water acts as a base, so when water uh, accepts a proton, so if we have H2O and a proton, it basically becomes a hydronium ion. Okay, so you get used to this, this this substance. Okay, it's written as H3O plus. Okay, so here we have water acting as both an acid and a base. So here it's acting as an acid, and here it's acting as a base. Okay, so therefore, for this reason, we call we describe water as amphiprotic. You know, it can both donate and or it can either I should be saying it can either donate or accept a proton or, or more than one proton, depending on the context. Okay, so here it can act as an acid and it can donate a proton and turn into a, a trihydroxide ion. Here it acts as a base, it accepts a proton and becomes a hydronium ion, H3O+. Okay, so now we have a bit of an example looking at kind of the definitions, I suppose, of, uh, well, the bronze layer definitions of acid and bases. So here we're, we're asked to write equations showing sulfuric acid, H2SO4, reacting with water. And there's two different ways it can react with water. It can react as a monoprotic acid, it can donate one, one heart, one proton, or it can act as a diprotic acid and donate two protons. Okay, so here, we'll write the monoprotic reaction. Okay. So we have H2SO4. Now we know sulfuric acid is a strong acid. And it's going to be in aqueous state. water. Now obviously water is never aqueous because aqueous suggests something is dissolved in water. So water is always a liquid, not always, but usually. Okay, and so if it wants to be monoprotic, okay, we're going to take one of these hydrogen, one of these are uh, one of these hydrogens in the H2SO4, one proton. Okay, I'm going to donate it to the water. Okay, so if we if we take one proton away from the sulfuric acid, we're going to be left with H SO four minus so hydrogen sulfate in aqueous state. And if the if the water accepts this, this proton, then we're going to have a hydronium ion as, as shown above. Okay, so here's water, here's what's basically happening. Okay, the uh, the sulfuric acid is is, is is losing a proton and becoming hydrogen sulfate ion. Okay. And then uh, the water is, is gaining this, this proton. So this water is gaining a proton and becoming a hydronium ion, as we've shown in this, this, this pink equation above here. Okay, so that is sulfuric acid acting as a monoprotic acid. Okay, now we want to do a diprotic acid. Then we again have the same reactants. So we've got sulfuric acid and water. Okay, so now because it's donated to because each because sulfuric acid is acting as a diprotic acid. Okay, it's donating two protons. Okay, so what we're left with once it's donated the two protons is a sulfate ion. Okay, and so here what we have to realize is that each water, each uh, water molecule can only accept one proton. Okay, there's no such thing as H4O2 plus or you know some some there's no way that a water molecule can accept a two two hydrogens, okay? So what's produced here is still only hydronium, okay? It's still hydronium, the same product as earlier as before, okay? But what happens is that because we're donating, two, because the sulfuric acid is now donating two protons instead of one, okay, so we need to balance this out, okay? And to do that, basically each, each molecule of, hydros of uh, sulfuric acid is donating two protons, Okay, and becoming a sulfate ion. 
And so if it want, if, so because we know that water is going to hydronium, okay, each each molecule of sulfuric acid must be creating two hydronium ions, okay? So we did uh, uh, one molecule of sulfuric acid donates two protons, okay, and each of those protons uh, reacts with one uh, water molecule, okay, so therefore each molecule of, hydro of sulfuric acid okay, reacts with two water molecules and produces two hydronium ions, okay. Now I can work this out sort of through that logic where we know that sulfuric acid is donating two protons, okay, and so there must be two water molecules to receive those two protons. And so therefore two hydronium ions will be produced. Or we can look at it by simple balancing, okay. Uh, now that this is balanced, we've got six Six hydrogens on the left, six on the right. Okay, before we before we had the two in here, we had four hydrogens here and three hydrogens here. Okay, and that that didn't work. You know, so we had to balance. We could have just looked at it mathematically and gone through each each element in the equation and worked out how to balance it. Or we can use our logic and realize that sulfuric acid is acting as a diprotic acid and donating two hydrogen, two sorry, not not hydrogen atoms or ions, two protons. So the sulfuric acid is donating two protons. Each of those protons is being sort of accepted by one water molecule. Okay, so therefore the ratio between the, the diprotic acid and the water is one to two. And so these are these are the two equations that we want. And each of this the top equation shows uh, shows sulfuric acid reacting as a monoprotic acid. Okay, and that's all that's all well and good. And the bottom equation shows sulfuric acid acting as a diprotic acid, okay? So there we have our definition, our bronsted lowry definitions of acids and bases, okay? And, you know, a bit of a discussion of what it means to be amphiprotic, and thus we can, from that information, we've, uh, we've shown you how to, how to write an equation for, for sulfuric acid reacting as both a monoprotic acid and a diprotic acid.